Okay folks, here's week two of our vegetable garden. And just gonna do another walk through here. You can see from about a week and a half ago that this garden has really taken off. Um, here you can see there's the basil plant. We've got some flowers in here for pollinators. Um, this cherry tomato is not looking so good, um, but it's sister plant over here. It's huge, and as you can see, it's flowering. So we're hoping to get loads of cherry tomatoes. Um, and here are uh, we have two new tomatoes. Uh, we have a butter boy tomato. And we have a beautiful slicer here from Rita's Roots. Here is a red pepper. Um, our shishito peppers are doing really well. They're flowering. And if you look down here, there's definitely fruit. Chives are getting big and strong. Um, we've planted an additional Italian eggplant from Rita's Roots. Here are the two Japanese eggplants from Rita's Roots. They are also flowering and getting absolutely huge. Um, here are our three okra plants and they are growing certainly tall. We have been battling an aphid problem with them. Um, and applying some insecticidal soap. So we'll see how far we get with them, but it appears that they are going to flower soon. And we plant some little cosmos in here, again for some pollination. And here is a red pepper and a black pepper. They've been in, I'd say about a week. And, um, Moving on to the next bed, if you can remember this, this was two weeks ago, six sweet potato plants, and now it is just a mass of leaves, and you can see it's just starting to really take over this bed here that we had planned to plant with half beans, and we may just need to let this mostly go to sweet potato because it is just insane. And so over here we have our butter beans and rattlesnake beans. Um, these we also got from Rita's Roots rattlesnake beans. I believe we got the butter beans from them or from Roots and Shoots, either one. Um, all, we planted eight. Um, we planted, no, we planted six of each. I'll do a separate bean video, but they are growing really strong. They've been in, I'd say, also about a week. Um, we have one little late, um, late shoot come up came up several days later than the other ones. I guess it was buried a little deeper. So, and here, if you remember those little tiny dill and fennel plants we have here, they've taken off. Um, and also the mint has as well. I will tell you, we have put the dill and fennel, um, into the front yard, into the butterfly garden. We've seen a few black swallowtails, but we haven't gotten them on the dill or fennel yet. So here is our squash bed. And as you can see, this is also going crazy and it's very full. I'd say each plant is probably growing like two to three feet per day. And this is a no exaggeration. And we already have, this is again, about two weeks here. Um, 
we already have yellow squash. Look at that beauty. And then over here, we get to the spaghetti squash plants. You can see we have some beautiful spaghetti squash that are already developing here. We have lots of flowering. Here we have a little butternut squash. And moving along here, um, we did get zucchini from Lowe's. It also has been in about a week and I was just surprised how fast it's taken off. Um, some of our spaghetti squash is appearing to get a little, um, maybe some little mildew or fungus here from where it's rained and some of the water dried. But overall, it's very healthy. Um, parsley, we've got some lavender to plant, courtesy of also Rita's Roots. And here are, um or cucumber plants and let's check under here we have lots of flowers and some baby cucumbers coming those will be slicers and we still have yet to put in our pickling cucumbers but that should happen probably this week um, again these were four little kale plants. They're huge. We're probably able to harvest some of the bottom leaves now. Um, here are some of those lettuce seeds that we planted. Sage is growing well. And here is our collard green patch. Again, has just taken off. We're so happy with the production in this garden. And we'll probably start harvesting some of these greens soon as well. And so, again, um, thank you for taking the tour of our garden, and happy planting!